What's up, YouTube? Sean the Gamer here, and we are about to talk about Dragon Ball Super. I'm about to say Dokkan Battle because I play so much Dokkan Battle. I'm in the middle of 15, 14th World Tournament, excuse me, on JP, and I'm about 20 something wins in, or like 20 wins in. Ugh. Would have been more, but yesterday shit happened. But whatever. Anyways, we're going to talk about Dragon Ball Super and the advent of which the best character is going to be introduced, or at least one of my new favorite characters. SS Rose Black Goku and I understand that a lot of you people don't understand why certain people like the pink because y'all think it's gay or homosexual or Dragon Ball Z trying to reach out to the LGBT LGBT community or the gay community and I don't understand what's wrong with that the more fans of Dragon Ball that we have the better I left a video I did a video a while back talking about why Goku Black's pink transformation, rose transformation is good for, for marketing. It's going to bring more people in. Everybody's talking about, oh, it's Power Rangers. So, Power Rangers sells a shit ton of toys. And you know what Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super and the Dragon Ball franchise wants to do? Sell a shit ton of toys so they can keep the money coming in, so they can keep producing Super. Not to mention, the I promise you, more girls are going to get into Dragon Ball Z once they see... Oh, there's a strong character with pink hair? Okay. I mean, if they're open-minded, if they're like most of you guys out there, they're going to be like, oh my God, Dragon Ball Z is becoming gay. But I believe a majority of the smart fan base, and I hate to say it like that, or the more mature fan base, let's say that, will understand that a color is just a color and it doesn't determine anything in life, You're except if you're a Republican or a Democrat. And even then they're pretty much the same thing so don't get caught up on the color stuff let's get caught up on the battle which is going to happen i mean i'm getting tired of defending marketing and strategy because y'all are like young-minded just get over it it's a color whatever some of y'all are walking around with those little furry balls on your book bag and your jeans and y'all talking about y'all worried about super saiyan pink yeah Anyway, it's not that it's over. What I expect to see from this episode is... Uh, Vegeta's going to try first. Or maybe Goku's going to try first. Either way it goes, one of them is going to try first. They're going to go SSB. Uh, and then they're going to get their ass completely handed to them. People are... I've seen a picture where it was like, Goku gets his, an, Goku gets his ass handed to him. And then Vegeta beats... Uh, SS Rose, and then he turns into SS White, and then Vegeta gets his ass whooped, and then the, it forces either Trunks to step up, or it um, gives them the opportunity to bring back Fusion and go into Gogeta? Gogeta is the one without the earrings, I believe, and Vegeta is the one with the earrings? Okay. So, and then maybe we can get a God form Fusion, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I think one of them or one of the three or there's going to be something that they pull out because I don't think it's right. Well, let's put, let me put it like this. Goku now has Kaioken Blue. That's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it Ka Blue Kaioken. And Vegeta just has Super Saiyan Blue. So I think they need to give Vegeta some kind of secret technique that he's been holding out on because the only thing that he really does is explode. <laughs> Vegeta's like a big explosion button. But they need to give Vegeta some type of ability like Kaioken that where he can like increase his power level. He needs Vegeta my the thing with Vegeta is he's my favorite character because he he relies on his laurels and morals and his fighting ability and not like techniques and things like that. Like Goku has Instant Transmission and uh, the Spirit Bomb and Kaioken and SS3 where Vegeta, he just had his transformations and his fighting skills and his Gallic Gun and, you know, and his signature moves. But other than that, he didn't have like the fancy techniques like a Hit or a Frost or a Goku has. So I believe it's about time for uh, Vegeta to get a technique and even Trunks can shoot beams out of his sword now. <laughs> so, I think it's about that time for Vegeta to get some kind of technique 
to put him back on par or surpass Goku. Um, do I think Vegeta's going to get the final kill when it comes to Black? No, but I also think also, maybe because I don't think Black is the final enemy in this saga. Uh, remember, this is called the Future Trunks arc, not the Goku Black arc. Think about that too, because we always call like we even call the Cell games like the Future Trunks saga as well. But it's the Cell game saga, the Android saga, the Frieza saga, the Ginyu Force saga. You know, this is the Future Trunks saga, not the Goku Black saga. So, as long as we have Future Trunks in this present time, this saga is going to continue. Not just when Goku Black is dead. And then we have to uh, worry about Zamasu. And then we have to worry about... Uh, cause think, about think about this. Think about this as well. Zamasu still... Okay, all right, here's an idea. Here's an Oh my gosh. Here's the, here's a theory. Here's some headcanon for you. Since Goku Black is already established and Zamasu that we know is still technically good, what if the Zamasu as he's turning evil and he goes to this he goes to what you call it? He finds Vegeta who is also on par with the guys and we all know that Zamasu thinks the guys and the humans or the Ningen should not be on par with each other. So what if his evil manifests like there's already Goku Black, but we already some of us have been speculating, what if there's a Vegeta Black or Black Vegeta? And this is how he comes when Zamasu comes in the next couple of episodes, spoilers. Uh, he sees Vegeta and Trunks and then he sees Vegeta is maybe what if he sees that Vegeta is stronger than Goku or has more potential than Goku and it's like Urgh! and then he expels the evil and then it turns into or you know because they haven't really explained what Goku Black is is he a possessed dead body is he the manifestation of the evil manifested because of Goku so if it's just the evil manifested inside of Zamasu because of Goku and his hatred for humans and that just manifested in a Goku Black, why not have that same thing manifest into a Black Vegeta? Even though we just had that, you know, in that little uh, sub art that led into uh, the Future Trunks art, I just think that'd be interesting. Or, you know, because I, I don't believe Goku Black is going to be by himself. I feel like he's going to have some kind of reinforcement. Say, or, except for, uh, no, I was going to say they all had some kind of, well, yeah, no, because I was going to say Boo had kind of reinforcements, but those were just like my control service of Bibbity and Bobbity. And then the Android served a purpose. Yeah, because it even makes sense. They all served purposes to the greater good of that main villain. You know, all of the uh, the Ginyu Force and Zarbon and Dodori and all that crap led to the greater good of Frieza. The androids led to the betterment of, of Cell. And then you have uh, Boo, which led to the betterment because of all the uh, power absorbed because of the henchmen and absorbing the powers of the Z fighters. And even if you look at GT a little bit, uh, Baby reached his maximum form because of Vegeta and the, and the Ozaru states. Uh, Omega Shinron had to collect all the Dragon Balls. So there has to be something to help get Goku Black more powerful. So we have to look at the history of Dragon Ball to see what else is going on. I can't, I, I watched Dragon Ball, but I don't really remember it that well to like, uh, use prognostication skills to put into this situation. So I'm only going off the Z and GT. So, with all that being said, I think I've been talking for about 10, hopefully less than 15 minutes. But if you guys, what, what I just want to see the colors. Well, everybody's complaining like, oh my gosh, you're introducing too many colors. Do you guys remember when we saw Golden Frieza and Blue Goku and Blue Vegeta fight each other? How good that looked. Now, just think about the contrast that already blue and pink or rose 
those colors already look good together. Just imagine when they're clashing, fighting each other. Think about the Suicide Squad logo, the colorful one, and just think about that in the action sequence. Well, just think about Suicide Squad and put Goku and Vegeta fighting black in their color-haired forms. So call it Power Rangers all you want. Call it gay all you want. I'm looking forward to this because the colors, if you get blazed or wasted or however you get intoxicated, just don't do hard drugs. I do not recommend you doing crack and things like that. I don't even like people who do like 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 mollies and things like that. If you smoke weed or you want to get like a light drink like a beer or something and get a little bit tipsy or a little bit buzzed while you watch this episode, go right ahead. You're going to enjoy the fuck out of yourself when you watch these fights. So, with all that being said, leave your thoughts and speculations down below on what do you want to see out of this episode and in the forthcoming episodes. If you have not, please subscribe, share this video with your friends so they can get on the conversation and liking always shows your support. If you want to follow me on anything other than Facebook, I mean other than YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch, all linked in the description below. I almost had it! And with all of that being said, I am Sean the Gamer and I am out of here.